Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a simple everyday look and I just want to thank my assistant, my brother, who's behind the camera and is currently giving me an odd look. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my previous um, review on Pearl Pattern. I hope you guys, if you guys have any questions, you guys just PM me about it. So, as I said, I'm going to be doing a simple everyday look, something that is not too dramatic for school and that you can wear out or every day. Or if you want, you can make it into a smoky eye and you can wear it for a night out. So, the products you'll need just tell you that you don't really have to have the exact products that I have, but mine are pretty affordable, so you can get those if you want to. So, first we have the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eyeliner. And I think it's usually um, $8.99 at CVS, or if you're in Canada, it's like $10 or $10.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart. So it's this. And I also have here a Sephora's Flashy, Flashy Liner, and it's waterproof, and it's the sparkly silver one. It's really nice, and I think I need to sharpen it, so it's the rounded edge. So, yeah. And... What you may need is I usually use uh like a cream like a cream eyeliner first before I I finish up before I apply my liquid eyeliner because I just use this as like an outline because it's easier for me with a brush. So this is Hips Loyal Hips High Intensity Pigments Color True Cream Eyeliner in 905 Black. So so it looks like like that. And then, it's this optional if you want to have um, lips or not, but I might be, uh, I'm going to use a little bit of 545 Wet Cover Girls Wet Sticks Fruit Spritzer, so it looks like that. And finally, you're going to need a brush, uh, preferably an angled brush. You could, today I'll be using my, the one, the brush that came with the Hip L'Oreal Eyeliner, Cream Eyeliner. So, okay. So first, I don't usually do anything to my face really because it's cool. So, um, first I would take my brush and I would, let me see, I would dip it into the eyeliner and I, oopsies, ah, okay, I dipped it and I dipped my finger into the, oh, I did it to the famous day. So, okay. So what you want to do is do tiny strokes and ma basically make the basic outline on the in like the most closest to your lash line, so it'll look really natural. So here I'll be. It's hard for me to do. So let me see. What I like to do is like I like to do little dots. So then after I can usually connect the dots after so just line it okay this is really messy because I can't see if it's messy it doesn't matter because you can always fix it up with um you can always fix it up with Vaseline or water after. Like that. This is so hard holding a mirror at the same time. Okay, this is like the most crappiest outline you'll ever see. It looks like this. This is my first time using like a uh, actual um to do this tutorial, so I'm sorry if it's horrible. So let's look at that. Doesn't matter because you're gonna be going um, outlining it with uh, uh, a liquid eyeliner after. So basically, go here, like it goes up. So you want to make a little flick. So you go like. So this is where you want to make the flick where the eye goes up. And you just connect the flick with it. Wait. Horrible flick, but this is just the outline, so that's what it looks like. And then next, you'll need. Rev oh my god. Eyeliner keeps going on my hands. Ah! 
So next, you'll need Rub On Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner. And I think I should have it here. I should move a little bit closer because it's easier than... So what you basically need to get to fit into the pen, the pen. And then... Uh, just line it out. So this is what it will look like. So, okay. So you guys might find it hard to use liquid eyeliner at first, but after a couple of tries, I find it's much easier and quicker than um, gel liner or or a uh, or a pencil liner because it creases easily. Okay, so it's not really precise, but this is what it looks like. So I know I, I did the wing out a little bit dramatic, but you can make it smaller if you want to. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm just going to do a couple of touch-ups. Just really quickly. So let's see, touch up. I would correct the wing after a little bit. So, like that. And then after, finally, you have your, you want to use your Sephora Flashy Silver for your waterline. So I'll go like... I think I need to sharpen my pencil because it's very, very horrible. So, let me see. So you just want to rub a little bit away. And you can do the inner corners of her eye too. So I think I put a little bit too much on, <clears throat> just rub a little bit off. Okay, so that's it. So that's my eye, the finished eye. You can see it's a little bit messy, but um, mine's usually more cleaner, it's more simple. It's like sort of like only a tiny flick, only occasionally where I put like a humongous flick. So yeah. So this is what it looks like, the difference, so no, and then after, no, um, eye makeup, and after. I think that um, it brings out your eyes a little bit more, and it makes you look more wide awake, so that's it. So thank you everyone for watching, bye!